All right, let's give them another example, and let's take them a little closer to home. And this shows that God placed the Earth, our Earth, in just the right spot in our galaxy. This was one of the strongest proofs that I saw in the whole documentary. It's absolutely fantastic, folks. Watch this. Even if the just right planetary system were to form from the just right elements of dead stars, there is another critical factor to consider. The life support planet must be positioned at the just right location within the galaxy. Near the center of our galaxy, conditions are too congested. With billions of stars in a relatively small volume, gravitational tug of wars make the survival of life supportable planets impossible. And the radiation there is intense, far too intense for life. Toward the outer edges of our galaxy, the stellar population becomes too sparse for planet building. The heavy elements generated by supernovae and white dwarf binaries are too few and far between, not enough building material to make planets. At almost any distance from our galactic center, conditions within the spiral arms prevent planet formation. Amazingly, our particular solar system resides at the perfect location in between spiral arms, neither too close to the center nor too close to the outer edge. Our just right location not only permits our existence, but it also allows us to see and explore our region of space. No wall of high rises, no big dust clouds block our view. All right, Hugh, to me, that is absolutely mind blowing of where God placed our earth. And you've got some other things that are mind blowing about where God placed earth. Talk about it. Well, we're also in the right place to see everything. I mean, what that clip was showing is we're in between two spiral arms, the Perseus arm and the Sagittarius arm, halfway in between which means we're far enough away from the bright stuff that we can do astronomy. And we're far away from the gas clouds and the bright stars. Uh, we also recognize that uh, we're far away from globular clusters. We're in that one spot in our Milky Way galaxy where it's possible to do astronomy. You know, the Bible says the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the righteousness of God and all his people have seen it. Well, it's critical that we be at a particular time in cosmic history and also a particular location in our Milky Way galaxy. And our galaxy must be in a particular location within the universe in order for us to see that glory and righteousness declared in the heavens. Anywhere else, any other time, we wouldn't be able to see that. 